So the next task in this uh, assignment is to apply a shape style to the text box. Okay, uh, so we are going to look under theme styles uh, where we are going to select a colored outline blue accent 5. Okay, so remember we are doing this on your text box. Okay, uh, you go back to your working document. This is your text box. Uh, to design okay are we supposed to click on design nope you're supposed to click on format then you look for or shape styles okay so this is where you'll find your shape styles under theme styles okay we're looking for a blue accent 5 uh, colored outline okay so this is what we are looking for you click on this one uh, you'll notice that the outline will change to blue accent 5 okay so we're only changing the outline nothing else okay so after doing that you basically done with step number 13 let's see if I'm not wrong yep we basically done with step number 13 so let us do step number 14 as well uh, it says you need to insert your student number in the footer so <clears throat> you go back to your document uh, okay then you click on insert then you search for footer this is your footer okay if you click on this one here like this you'll get options okay so the default one the blank one is this is what you're supposed to do if you don't feel like using this one you can just click on edit footer okay so if you click on this one you see it gives you an option where you can just type uh, see type your student number okay uh, okay after clicking your student now after typing I mean after typing your student number you need to press a, uh, escape which is the ESC button at your uh, top left top left hand corner okay so let me just click ex uh, ESC for now and then use the other option insert uh, insert footer and then click on edit footer you'll see it also gives me the same option so I can just type okay so I just typed my student number okay uh, since I'm going to you need this this is not my real student number guys I'm not gonna show you my real student number okay copy this then click uh, ESC and then after clicking ESC you'll see this will be written in some sort of a gray color then okay you need to keep on saving your work just in case something happens okay then after doing this uh, what what's next okay you you basically done with this step okay this was step number number 14 okay let's also do step number 15 in this video it says uh, create a numbered list okay and then it shows you what types what types of numbers you should use okay uh, using the text below what you'll gain okay so we need to search for what you'll gain and then uh, the text below this we are just going to change the what uh, we're just going to change uh, the way it is formatted and use a numbered list okay so let us go to what you'll gain okay what you'll gain is this one here so the text below that is simply this here okay so we are just going to use a number at least so you click on this uh, drop down menu and we are going to use this one because that is what they told us we should do okay click on this one you'll see it will change the font size to 9 don't change this to 11 uh, that was not part of the instructions just leave it as nine okay and then you done with step number that was step number 15 i think okay